Governors of at least 27 U.S. states have said they won't accept Syrian refugees. A Syrian passport, which appears to be fake, was found near the body of one of the Paris attackers, whose fingerprints match someone who passed through Greece and the Balkans. But all the attackers identified so far are European nationals. The Obama administration said it still plans to accept Syrian refugees, noting they're intensely vetted. Only about 1,500 Syrian refugees have been resettled in the United States since the Syrian conflict began in 2011. We're joined right now by Rula Lush, who is the national board chair of CARE. That's the Council on American-Islamic Relations. Can you respond to this growing number of governors throughout the United States who are saying no to refugees? Yeah, first, if I may, I'd like to, to offer my condolences to the previous guest, my fellow guest on today's show, um, for her loss and for her family. And my thoughts and prayers are with her, but I also commend her for her courage in speaking in support of humanity and also offer condolences to the people of Paris and France and all those who are victimized by these horrific acts. Um, certainly, we see these governors coming out and um, speaking out against uh, having refugees from Syria come and uh, find refuge in the United States. And truly, this is a really disturbing situation. Um, these refugees are people that are fleeing from the very same horrific acts that took place um, that we've condemned and seen in Paris and Beirut and other places. They're people that are fleeing war and persecution. and. It's really uh, disturbing and very un-American for these governors to be uh, saying that we, as the United States, wouldn't offer a place of refuge and uh, a place of safety and security for people that have been suffering from horrific acts for many, many years now. I want to uh, turn to Alabama Governor uh, Robert Bentley. Okay. I'm over your Check out Facebook. Check out posting. This we want to turn to um, we want to turn to one of the governors who's spoken out against um, having refugees. This is Alabama Governor Robert Bentley. And I think the thing that I want to do as governor is to make sure the people of Alabama are safe. And if there is any, if there's even the slightest risk uh, that people who are coming in from Syria are not the types of people that we would want them to be, uh, then we can't take that chance. Not every governor is saying that, however. A growing number of governors uh, are saying they want to accept, they don't want to accept Syrian refugees. But Vermont Governor Peter Shumlin said Syrian refugees are welcome in Vermont. And I think that the governors who are taking those actions uh, are standing, stomping on the qualities that make America great, which okay. is reaching out to folks when they're in trouble and offering them help, not hurting them. Rula, lose your response. Yeah, sure. I mean, I commend the governor of Vermont and uh, welcome the remarks by President Obama in saying that, uh, despite the concerns that have been expressed by many, uh, that we will continue to welcome these refugees in. Um, and second, what was said by the governor of Vermont, the United States of America has always been a place that um, is seen as a beacon of light and hope for immigrants. We've got the Statue of Liberty that stands as a symbol of that for our nation. And we've got uh, American values and principles that say that we will welcome people in. And, it, you know, we say, give us your hungry, your poor, um, and we will be a place for security and safety for people that are fleeing uh, horrible places and places where they're suffering from horrific atrocities. And that's exactly what the Syrian people are, are experiencing today. Meanwhile, there are growing reports of Islamophobic attacks since Friday's attacks in Paris. Just hours after the Paris assaults, a caller left this voicemail for the Islamic Society of Pinellas County in St. Petersburg, Florida. We're tired of your and I'm going to personally have a, a militia that's going to come down to your Islamic society in Pinellas County, firebomb you, shoot whoever's there on site in the head. I don't care if they're two years old or a hundred. I'm over your and the whole country is. Check out Facebook, check out postings. This act in France is the last straw. And, uh, you know, f you, f Allah, f your sand nigger, f get the f out of my country. And my name is Martin Schnitzler. Come find me, please. Please report me, because I will love, love it. You're going to die, my said Sunnah, or whoever the f your, your name is, you f sand nigger. 
uh, voicemail for the Islamic Society of Pinellas County in St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, again, we beeped as much as we could out of that horrific message, as he repeatedly talked about sand N-words. Uh, meanwhile, in Pflugerville, Texas, residents found a torn Quran covered in feces left in front of a local mosque in uh, Peterborough, Ontario. A mosque was set on fire in what authorities have called a hate crime. Um, Rula Lush, what are you calling for? Yeah, I mean, we need, at this point, we need to unite. We need to stand united as people and not allow fear and hate to, to take over and to sacrifice our American values and principles. Um, really, in doing so, we would be allowing the, the extremists and the people that we're fighting against to win. Rula, um, in the case of the Florida messages call, like that and he, he actually identified himself. Uh, what is happening um, at the masjid, at the mosque? Um, what are they doing? Uh, how are they protecting themselves? And do you feel that the, uh, the law enforcement response is adequate? So our CARE Florida team has been working with the people at the mosque uh, down in Florida, and law enforcement has stepped up to review. I mean, as you said, the person felt comfortable and safe to provide his name. And I think that reflects a disturbing increase in Islamophobia and a disturbing increase in uh, what appears to be acceptability of that type of rhetoric and hate being spewed. And it certainly doesn't help when elected officials seem to be um, following that same line of hate and, and speaking out in ways that are contrary to American values. Well, Rula Lush, I want to thank you for being with us, National Board Chair of the Council on American Islamic Relations, known as CARE.